These are the Catharites, carrion feeding birds who have invented a weird and disgusting form of defense. If there's a predator nearby, the Catharites spit out the contents of their stomachs onto it. They've had this skill since birth and it'll stay with them forever. Unlike the abilities that other animals have, some lose them as they grow up. But what are these unique skills and why only animals' babies have them? Let's figure it out. Just look at this. This duck is literally climbing the wall. That's the craziest I mean, thing I've ever seen. What's going on? I double checked. These are really ducklings and they do climb a vertical wall because they can. Turns out this happens quite often if you're a duck. I'm not sure that nature designed ducklings to be climbers, but it happened anyway. It's all about the structure of their bodies. See for yourself. Little ducklings weigh from 1 to 1.5 ounces. That is just a little. They have tiny but very tenacious claws on their feet. Yes, a cute fluffy duckling can really scratch you till you bleed. Though most often these claws are used for climbing, like special equipment for climbers. The duckling's center of gravity is positioned in such a way they can crawl up on a vertical wall unless it's perfectly smooth. That is, the duckling probably can't climb a column made out of a solid piece of marble, but it can definitely handle brickwork. For additional support, chicks often press their tails against the wall, like woodpeckers. The result is, well, you can see for yourself. No need for a spider bite. Remember, with great power, comes great responsibility. Okay, okay, this is all very cool, and I'd even let the ducklings join the Avengers team. But why are they climbing walls anyway? Shouldn't the ducklings, I don't know, splash around in some pond and look cute? That's right. They also follow their mother everywhere, though she is much more adapted to crossing rough terrain. Where she can jump or even fly, the ducklings can only climb. However, studies show that you don't need mother duck to make ducklings climb. Sometimes they're ready to climb the walls if there's a treat waiting for them above. But what about adult ducks? To be honest, I've never seen them climbing the walls. Does this mean that with age, the birds simply forget they once knew how to do this? Not quite. Even adult ducks have claws on their feet, which can help them climb. For example, a tree. But the ducks are too heavy to do stunts on the Spider-Man level. No number of claws will help when you have such an impressive body? Why should they improve their climbing skills when they can just fly wherever they need? It's faster and you definitely won't fall in the process. An adult duck will probably not be happy if it suddenly falls to the ground. It's much easier for ducklings. Have you seen how they jump off the cliffs? When you're small, you don't have to be scared. Fear is not real. Attention! This only works with ducklings. Although, let's be honest, for kids and adults, the consequences of falling, say from a bicycle, are very different. Perhaps all kids are a little shock resistant, but ducklings also benefit from their small weight. As I said, they're really very light. Also keep in mind, soft feathers, wings, and paws set apart in different directions, so it's not scary to fall from the height of the brick fence. Some ducks even nest in tree holes, and ducklings have no choice but to jump. They're used to it. Ants are the best when it comes to surviving falls from great heights. They are, of course, smaller than ducklings. The idea is the same. When the body falls, at a certain point, the air resistance pushing the object upward becomes equal to the force of gravity pulling the object downward. Then the body reaches its final velocity. And for a human, it might reach roughly 120 miles per hour. You should realize a collision with the ground at such speed does not promise anything good. However, the ant is so light that if you decide to throw it off the top of a skyscraper, its top falling speed will reach about 4 miles per hour. There are people who walk faster. In addition, ants have a durable exoskeleton, so even falling from the Empire State Building won't harm them in any way. The ducklings are not that tough. But they have one more unique ability, which is running on water. Not over long distances, of course, and yet it looks impressive. When threatened, the ducklings turn on the super acceleration mode. They cannot fly away anyway, so they run. And they do it nine times faster than if they were swimming. Adult ducks have the memory of this ability, but they only use it to take off. And now the really important question. Why only the babies get any special powers? Don't you think this is a little unfair? Well, even if some adult ducks have been dreaming of conquering Everest all their lives, the ability to climb rocks is still more important for the ducklings. This works for every baby. In childhood, any creature has a much higher risk of dying. The offspring can be protected either by parents or by some special skills. Take people, for example. We are born so weak and helpless, we can die from any little thing. 
We do not have mechanisms to protect us from predators or fur to protect us from the cold. We don't need them, because other people take care of human babies, providing them with everything they need. Many baby animals also need protection, but nature took care of that. Take at least little penguins. Have you seen what they look like? Yeah, it's as if they were dressed by their mother who was very worried her kids would be cold, so she put her grandfather's old fur coat on them. Though actually, this brown cover is not fur, but very thick, fluffy feathers that help keep warm. When the penguin grows up, its plumage changes to normal, the feathers are tightly fitted to each other, and from the side it reminds more of short hair. But until that happened, yes, we all remember what happens when you can't change your parents' mind. <laughs> But what happens if you take away the unique skills of the animal? I'm not even talking about babies now. Everything is clear when it comes to them. The result is sad, but predictable. What about adults? Actually, there's little difference. A giraffe without a long neck won't be able to reach the leaves from the trees and will lose the chance to fight for the female, which means it will die without leaving offspring. After changing the color of its fur, the polar bear will become noticeable in the midst of snow and ice that is no hunting, no food, and quick death. Without speed, the cheetah will lose the only advantage that helps it get prey and compete with other predators. In the end, well, you get the idea. No future. However, while for some animals, losing their skills means certain death, others calmly part with them when they grow up. Chicks of Hotsun, a tropical bird with a funny hairdo, not only have legs and wings, they also have claws on their thumbs. Yes, something like an inheritance from a great-great-grandmother who lived in the days of different pterodactyls. Since Hotsun chicks cannot fly but swim well, they jump out of the nest onto the water at the slightest hint of danger. Generally a solid plan, unless you're hunted by a crocodile. When the danger is gone, the chicks need to return to the nest before the mother notices they are wandering around unattended. The claws come in handy here. The Hotsons cling to a tree and climb to the desired height, but as soon as the bird grows up, the claws disappear. Probably not to interfere with the flight. And while we're on the subject of wings, let's take a look at the chickens. Everyone knows that flying is not their strong suit. But it was not always this way. The red jungle fowl, the species from which the domesticated chickens descended about 8,000 years ago, flies excellently over short distances. Not quite like the eagle, but the result is still good. So why did domestic chickens lose this really useful ability? People are to blame for this. We've bred chickens for so long their flying muscles became too large and their body mass too heavy. Well, you know, humanity had clear gastronomic goals in mind. As a result, in order to take off, modern domestic chicken needs larger wings, and evolution is powerless here. But chickens have another ability that people did not take away. The chickens themselves simply do not know about it. Chickens can swim. Yes, if you watch my previous videos, you must remember that almost all animals on the planet have this skill. But only chickens are so shocked by this. What's, what's going on? Am I in the soup? It is heaven. What? And yet chickens can swim. They just prefer not to. You can understand them. They have no membranes on their feet to paddle properly, no water repellent feathers, and even their body is surprisingly weak. If a chicken spends enough time in the water to get all of its feathers wet, it'll drown, not being able to withstand its own weight. Well, if this does not happen, it can get pneumonia from hypothermia and also die. Yes, my friends, these are the descendants of dinosaurs. See you later.